Talk, which I will be teaching this Sunday, April 5th, from 1 to 4 via Facebook Live. Um, our Cardio Advance Hit series for Little Freebies for this week is going to be all Polynesian themed. So today's class, we're going to be doing some little hula combinations. Um, so breaking it down, um, we're going to start off with a basic hip sway. And again, I always show the, the modifications uh, for all these um, movements, just in case um, the hips and the feet don't want to go or the arms don't want to add on. So what we have here, we're going to start off in place and then we're going to take it um, side to side. So if you're familiar with belly dance, this is a very similar movement to the upward figure eight. We're gonna, but we're gonna start with the left hip instead of the right hip. We're gonna bring our left hip up, right hip up. So down, out, up, down, out, up, down, out, up, down, out, up. In belly dance, you would see this up and down movement with the body. For hula, we try to keep the movement all in our lower half. So to add a little bit of um, difficulty, try doing the same movement, but keeping it all movement into your hips and without the up or down vertical motion. So that's one way of doing that hip swing. If that upward figure eight vertical circles are not working or, or just, you know, having this little bit of difficulty, don't worry. Just sway your hips left, right, left, right. If you're going to do this method, I would say please keep your knees bent. Be careful of sticking that booty out. Get it, keep it tucked in and go side to side. All right. We're going to take this motion side to side is hip sway with a step together step touch called a kaholo all you're doing is you're stepping out the right stepping in with the left stepping out touch left step out with the left touch in with the right step out the left touch right so it goes out in out touch out together out touch step together step touch step together step touch so that's going to be the footwork that we're adding to those hip sways. So putting it all together, each, if you're stepping with the right, your left hip is going to do a hip sway. Left hip, you're stepping in with the left, right hip is going to do a hip sway. Right hip, step out the left, left hip, and on that count forward, there's no hips, it's just that foot touch. Going to the left, it's going to be right hip, left hip, right hip, touch, left hip, right hip, left hip, touch, right, left, right, touch. So as you're stepping, those hips are constantly swaying, but we don't want to see happening. Again, it's very easy when we're sitting to want to stick that booty out. So you don't want to be standing here with that booty sticking out, because what's going to happen, you're going to grind the vertebrae in your lower back, and you're going to end up with a nice, Pain in your lower back. So we want to make sure you're keeping that pelvis tucked under when you're doing these. If, again, what it looks like without the vertical hip circles, if we just do it this way, it's just going to be one, two, three, and touch. And then it's, uh, or sorry, one, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch, one, two, three, touch. So that's what that Koholo step together step touch looks without the upward figure eight. So for this combination that we're doing, we have eight counts of Koholos, and we're using these Koholos side to side, um, hip sways, traveling hip sways as our rest. So we have right and left, four counts. We're gonna have our hands on our hips, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next we have a move called a hella. You're going to point the right foot forward. The left hip is going to go out to the side. You're going to push all the weight. All the weight is in that left hip, left foot. Bring the feet together. Hips come neutral. Right hip goes out to the side and left foot points out. 
So if you see it from the side, it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, for a little bit more difficulty, try to keep those knees bent if you can. You can do the same thing with your, with your legs um, slightly straight, but you get more of a workout if those knees are bent and you're almost in a plie uh, position. So combination again, we got Kahalo right and left, one, two, three, four, to the left, six, seven, eight, Halas. we keep our arms and chest, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Kahalo, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one way. For the hellas, you can, uh, you're more than welcome to keep them facing forward. But again, a little bit more difficulty. We're going to add some sides to it. So we have one, two, three, four, face left, six, seven, eight, face forward, two, three, four, face the right, six, seven, eight, Kahoba, two, three, four. So I'll do it both ways if I remember. And <laughs> So you can see the difference of trying it out um, facing forward or changing side with those hellos. For our workout, so we got four cows to get on the floor, and we're gonna do mountain climbers. Again, you can do these, uh, we're doing eight counts of mountain climbers, and you can do them at your speed. So you can just take it here, slow, nice and slow, or if you would like, you can have your knees down and just bring your knee in. Otherwise, I'll be taking it up here up to tempo for eight counts. Then we bring it back up, kahalo, kahalo. And we start it all over again. So let's get started, green rose hula. <laughs> is going to 
to be based on the hip sway. And kind of broke it down in our last combo, but this time we're going to keep it in place. We're not taking it side to side except for the kahola. So for the combination, all we're doing, we have two hip sways in place. One, two, three, four. We're going to start on the left. Then we have four. So four fast hip sways. Left, right, left, right. And those are two hip sways going down, two hip sways going up. If that's too difficult, just keep the four in place. So a modified version would be slow, slow, left, right, left, right, with no up and down motion. So from the side, if you want to add a little difficulty, more work for your thighs, we have slow, slow, down, down, up, up. All right, so we've got 32 counts of that. During our resting period, eight counts of rest, we have colo our coholos, hip sway side to side, right, and left. And then we're gonna go into our jumping jacks. So these jumping jacks are, um, we have our regular jumping jacks, and then we're gonna come through the middle with our arm center. So what it looks like, normal, arms come through the center and above the head and center. So it's one, two, three, four. The modified version of this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna do 32 counts of that. Our kahalos, hip sway side to side. Then we go back into the hip sway, slow, Fast, fast, up, up. The nice song is one of our longer ones, so grab some water if you need it. Otherwise, we're starting. Oh, yeah. 
chaos that's going around. At least we can provide at least 15 minutes of happiness and some joy. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you on Thursday.